Hi, I'm Jared, and I'm a bodybuilder. Look at this, perfect outdoor yoga studio. Thank you so much for having me. So cool of you to say yes to this, and we're gonna make it feel awesome because essentially this is your own private backyard session. <laughs> so let's actually begin on all fours today. And I'll practice alongside you, but then I'll also be getting up here and there to just offer any love, extra love, um, as it comes up. So spread the fingers super wide so you feel that stretch. And then you're gonna imagine just turning a pickle jar with your right hand so that your upper arm bone, boom, beautiful. And then you got it on the left already. Yes, so good, so strong. All right, we'll just take three or four full breaths here. So keep your gaze straight down and just take some nice loving breaths in and out. And so obviously we're gonna pay attention to some things that will be good in particular for your body today, but in general, any time on the mat is time well spent in my opinion because you're checking in with your breath and ultimately we're kind of clearing the energy that runs up and down the spine so that you can feel good and have all, all the good vibes you need to do all the amazing things you're doing in life. So just a couple more full breaths here as we bring awareness to the spine from the crown all the way to the tail. And then we're gonna activate some muscles and just get some heat going here. Of course, we're out here in, in Texas, so it's already starting to get warm, but um, as you're ready, let's curl the toes under, just the toes. Keep those pickle jars. Yeah, and then let's inhale in together. And then as you exhale, press into your hands and lift your knees and let them hover. We start to turn on through the core. And obviously you have the strength here, so for today, I'm gonna encourage you to keep the neck nice and long. Think of your neck, yeah, gorgeous, whoo, super beautiful. Think of your neck as an extension of your spine, because it is. And then we'll tug the hands back in space just a bit on the mat and tug the toes forward and start to really feel that connection to the belly. And then because you're strong, let's keep the gaze out and forward and just maybe lift one toe, any toe, one foot. Press into both palms evenly and then release and then pick up the other foot. Whew. Yeah, beautiful. And then we'll come back to this hovering table here, neck nice and long for five, four, tuck the chin slightly, three, two, yes, beautiful. Release on the one, knees wide, big toes come to touch and we're just gonna send the hips back. My favorite extended child's pose. And then back to the nice, long, full breaths here as you just allow your chest and shoulders to melt to the earth. And then see if the forehead can come down. And then do you mind if I touch your back here? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just take a couple loving breaths here. So inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out. And one more time, inhale, lots of love in. Might as well. And then exhale, lots of love out. One more breath cycle on your own. And as you inhale, think about breathing wide into all four sides of the torso. Yes, beautiful. And then as you exhale, just soften your shoulders down to the earth. Big chest opener here. Yeah, really nice. Cool. So we have to work pretty structured in the gym at times. So we're gonna find a little fluidity and it might feel a little weird at first, but we're from Austin, so we can do this. So here we go, we're gonna claw through the fingertips and you can follow my lead. We're gonna inhale, keep the legs where they are. You're gonna shift your shoulders to the left, stretch, and then all the way to the front, open, so you can feel that long puppy belly, abdominal wall, nice and long. And then around, and then back through that surrender. Cool, and then we keep it going, we inhale, and then try to get the abdominal wall long here. Feel that stretch like a long puppy belly. And then, oh yeah. So starting to lube up through the hip sockets, the shoulders, the side body. And then in yoga, it's really all about syncing up with our breath. Maybe something you also do off the mat. And then we'll do one more in this circular direction. And then we're just gonna reverse it. And this time, maybe a little bit of awareness in the neck. You can kind of move your neck in a way that feels good. And 
and I used to teach high school yoga for a little bit. Like we added yoga as a gym hour and I'd call this move drunk cat cow and they would all love it. They're like, yeah, Adrian, Miss Adrian. And I was like, drunk on love though, guys. Okay. So the next time we go back, we'll take a second here to just tent the palms. And so when I say that, I just imagine like a little tent pole coming up in the palm. And you're gonna lift the wrists up high. So we're stretching a little bit through the forearms here. And then even if it doesn't move, imagine your hips, your bum, your sits bones reaching back here and we're stretching through the outer shoulder. And then we're gonna inhale to look forward. And then exhale, tuck the chin, connect to the ribs. Ribs hug in. Twice more like that. Inhale, look forward. Upper arm bones rotate out, doing a great job here. And then exhale, tuck the chin. Lower ribs, hug in. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, navel draws in, tuck the chin. Awesome. Palms can come back to the earth nice and slow as if you're moving from your center. So instead of just jerking yourself all the way up, not that you would, see if you can really move from your core, or your center of gravity. So this starts to come up and it just kind of changes the way you move on the yoga mat. It makes it a little more artful. Walk the knees in, back underneath the hip points. And then now just your standard cat cow. Here we go. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. And then with your exhale, rounding through. Nice and slow, particularly as we pay attention to that lower lumbar. Inhale, maybe press into the tops of the feet here. And then exhale. And then just take a couple more on your own to really pay attention once again to the hands, your breath. And sometimes it helps to just soften your gaze or close your eyes for a couple rounds. Oh, really nice. Let's do one more. Great. Then we'll inhale, come back to that tabletop position. We'll curl the toes under and we're just going to walk the hands back, give our wrists a little bit of a break as we wake up through the feet. So bring the knees in just a hair. You're going to try to sit back on your heels. And we're not going to be here long because I know this can be really intense, but how does it feel if you sit back on your heels? Tell me what you're feeling in your feet. It's intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And a lot of pressure in my yeah. toes. So I'll only be here for three. This is good though. Good flexibility for the, the feet and the ankles for two and for one. All right, let's get out of there. All right. Hands back to the earth. Each time we bring the hands to the earth, we bring that same mindfulness as if they were our feet as we were getting ready for a deadlift, like same mindfulness. So here we go. Curl the toes under if they aren't already. Great. And we're just going to peel up through the tail. Keep your knees nice and bent though. And we're coming into a little modified downward dog here with bent knees. So it may not look like the picturesque downward dog that you're used to seeing like mm -hmm. other people do, but keep the knees bent, relax your head over, and just take a couple breaths here. You might even um, continue with the little flexibility in the feet, maybe pedaling out a little here and there, feeling that stretch in the glute. And then, you know, like, um, the thing about downward dog is like, there are a lot of people who are at work right now, like doing something they don't want to be doing. And we get to be like in this shape. So I always like to think of that in downward dog. Like I just kind of smile a little bit <laughs> and make sure I'm not <clears throat> taking my life too seriously. Not that you are. I'm just telling you what I do in downward dog. I'm like, oh yeah, I get to be playful here. It just kind of changes um, my energy helps me from feeling kind of stuck. Cool. Then from here, nice and slow, we're going to connect to our core. We're just going to walk baby steps up to the top of the mat. And this is a very, very humbling transition because you always feel like, oh God, how do I get up there? But um, we'll use that too. And then when we get up there, yep, we're just going to let it hang. And we're going to bend the knees again here. And we're going to try to just spread awareness through all four corners of the feet. And then breathe, breathe, breathe. You got it. And then bend your knees even more. 
and we're gonna slowly roll it up, nice and slow. And as you roll up, really feel the power of your foot as you press down and roll all the way up. So go ahead and roll up, yeah. Whew. And then now we arrive in mountain pose. You can keep the feet where they are and just feel that breeze. And just take a second to notice how you feel. Feel that flush of energy. We just took our head from below our hearts all the way up to the top. So there's a lot, there's more than meets the eye here for sure. Hmm. And then the thing about yoga is we always return back to the breath. And I like to think of it as like your breath is your spirit. So like no matter what you believe in or where you come from or what's going on or what kind of day you're having, yoga is so great because it puts the breath at the start, you know, and I think that's really actually something we can all agree on as valuable because when you stop breathing, what happens? It's over. It's over. So it's like, oh yeah, it's not a yoga thing. It's like, it's a living thing to focus on your breath and how it affects, you know, the way you move and the way you act. Like we all know you're in traffic, you know, if you just take a deep breath and something bad happens, it changes the way you react. So just a little motivation to keep breathing when you get in those tight places. Remember, it's all about the breath, and as long as you're paying attention to your breath, you're doing it right. So that said, let's take a deep breath in and squeeze the shoulders up to the ears, nothing fancy. Just integrating the movement in the breath, and then as you exhale, relax the arms down, just gently at your sides, relax the shoulders, yeah. And then inhale, squeeze and lift, shoulders up, yeah, and then exhale all the way down. Yeah, and then now just on your own, keep it going. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And exhale, relax. And one more time, squeeze and lift. Yes, there we go, beautiful. And exhale, relax. And then relax your arms all the way down this time. Beautiful mountain pose. So in mountain, it's like the, the crown of the head is the tip of the mountain and then your arms, oh, the sides. And then you'll walk your feet in just as much as you feel comfortable, just so you feel like you have your feet underneath you. And then lift your chest, which you have, and then we'll just allow the shoulder blades to come together a little more. Yes, gorgeous, beautiful. Here we go, inhale, reach fingertips forward, up and back, big stretch. And you stay where you are, I'm just gonna come here so you can um, mirror me. We're gonna stretch through the side body here and then on the exhale, we're gonna bend the elbows like cactus arms or football goalpost arms. Yeah, feel that stretch in the pec, gorgeous, and lift the chin just slightly. Then dig into the heels, inhale, reach for the sky. And then exhale again, bend the elbows, open through the chest. Yes, so strong, beautiful. Inhale, reach, dig into the heels, full body experience. Exhale, bend, stretch, feel that opening through the pecs. So we're gonna take one cycle of breath here. So cycle of breath is just in and out. And as you do the exhale, inhale, you're gonna imagine you're pinching a pencil between your scalps here. Yeah, beautiful. Really nice. And then a little bit of energy in the fingertips, you got it? Nice, and then we'll release that inhale. Interlace the fingertips up and overhead and very easy here, bump the hips to the right. Send your fingertips to the left. Great, inhale, come up through center. And same thing on the other side, just opening up through the side waist here, pressing into the feet, yes. Nice, and then back to center. Once again, bending at the elbows, cactus arms, lift the chest, and inhale all the way up. Great, bend the knees generously as we slowly take it back into that forward fold. Now let's actually take the hands to the tops of the thighs here just to test out this forward fold. I wanna make sure you feel good in your lower back. So how do you feel here? Oh, that's decent. Feel good? Okay, so let's draw the navel up just a bit, rounding through like that cat, and then just slowly see what happens if we trace fingertips along the shins down, start to feel it, start to feel it. Okay, good. Then we'll release. And then we're gonna inhale, slide all the way back up, bent knees, palms on the thighs. Now here we're trying to create a nice long line from the crown to the tail. So you can keep your gaze straight down and again, imagine that little teacup on the back of the neck. So let's go, here we go. Forward fold, our version. And then halfway lift, our version. Yeah, beautiful neck, gorgeous. Forward fold, our version, bent knees. And halfway lift. 
And then pull those elbows back here like little grasshopper legs. Yeah, gorgeous. And then one more time, forward fold. And halfway lift. Yeah, really nice awareness in the neck now. Beautiful, okay, here we go. Forward fold, bend those knees, plant the palms, a position you're probably familiar with, plank pose. So step it back any way that feels good. Take your time. We'll plant the hands, yogi style, finding those pickle jars, really spreading through the fingers. And then we'll stretch the heels back, really feel that nice long stretch through the Achilles, the calf, back of the knee. And then we're gonna press away from the yoga mat. And once again, see if you can lift your heart center, as we call it, heart space up between the shoulder blades here. Yes, beautiful. And then someone of your strength and magnitude, amazing, finding that tremble here. So cool. Lots of awareness. Okay, here we go. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Seriously, let something go. One more time. Inhale. Letting go of something. Ha! Nice. Slowly lower the knees. Slowly lower the elbows. We're going to come onto the belly. Oh, all the way. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This one's going to be uh, another one for the chest. Um, so let's start in Sphinx. So elbows are going to come underneath the shoulders. And again, we keep all the mindfulness in the world with the hands. And kind of press into the pubic bone. Beautiful. Press into the tops of the feet. And then we're going to loop the shoulders. So you're familiar with the shoulder socket. We're going to imagine that shoulder socket really wrapping around and in. And as we do that, we're going to press up, getting, oh, yeah, okay, there's some flexibility there. Beautiful. So a lot of people can't even get up in, in this. How's your lower back? That's good. Okay, yeah. press into pubic bone, and then we'll tuck the chin. And then here we go. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, draw a line with your nose past your right shoulder. So just turn to look to your right. Press into your left elbow as you do that and feel that awesome stretch in the left side neck. Yeah, and then lift the corners of your mouth slightly. You can soften your gaze and just breathe here. Mm. And then slowly come back to center. And we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're getting this deep stretch in the right side neck. So you press into your right elbow and draw a line with your nose past your left shoulder here. And then slowly coming back here. Gorgeous. Now we're going to gently release. And this one's going to be a little bit tricky. You're going to send your left hand all the way out onto my mat here. Um, yeah, and maybe bring your hands to a Texas T on the ground. Yeah, so bring your left hand all the way out. And now you're going to bend your right knee and bring your right toes up towards the sky. Beautiful. Then nice and slow, keep connection to this hand, so all that love that we've connected. You're gonna slowly bring your right toes all the way over towards me, and we're gonna stretch through this left chest, left pec. It looks like this, Jared. So we're kind of using Mama Earth to open up through the stretch, yeah. And you can maybe rest your left ear on the earth. Yeah, and then you can maybe, again, keep this hand connected to protect your shoulder. You can maybe bend this right elbow and use that hand to get a little more in, into the stretch. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. And then maybe rest your head. Take one more breath. And then from your center, from your core, roll it back nice and slow. So th these are kind of awkward at first, but then once you get in the hang of it, they, they get really yummy. So same thing on the other side. Yeah, you're already there. Perfect. So you're going to bring yeah, and you're going to keep that shoulder on the ground so it has that connection. And then left knee is going to bend, toes come up and over. And we can use the left hand. Yeah, this looks great. And then breathe. Again, we're kind of using gravity and using Mama Earth to really stretch through those pecs. But there's a whole line of connection all from shoulder through the hip crease. Awesome. Take one more breath, and then yeah, use your exhale to come all the way back. We'll bring the hands right on, in, in line with the ribs, actually. Yeah, so draw them back. Suck those elbows in like little grasshopper legs, and then tuck the chin. So we're trying to go for a little flexibility in the neck here. So baby cobra, as we lift up nice and slow, chin slowly lifts forward. Take a deep breath in, 
And then exhale to release. Awesome work. All right, here we go. Press up, power up. You got this. Curl the toes under. When you're ready, plank pose, nice and strong. And then here we go. Bend the knees, peel the tail up, our downward dog again. Now stay here. In downward dog, we find the upper arm bones rotating out once again. And then soften through your beautiful neck again. Head and neck soften so you're not holding. So let your neck go. Maybe send your gaze to your navel. Yeah, beautiful. And then breathe here, my friend. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Awesome. All right, once again, we're gonna slowly walk. Let's just go to the center of our mat this time, nice and slow. Ooh, and then we use our core to roll up nice and slow. Yeah, that was great, beautiful. And then we come up to that mountain and once again, magic is in the air because as we're rolling up in a mountain, the breeze is coming through. So just take a moment to notice how you feel. Relax. Maybe get your feet right underneath you so you feel like your head and your heart and your pelvis are all in one line. Yeah, gorgeous. And then here in this moment of your practice, which you can recreate on your own at any time, you just kind of take what you need and then choose to leave whatever you don't need behind. So you inhale, kind of take what you need and exhale, leave what you don't need behind. Whatever that means to you, inhale and exhale. Nice. All right, so we're gonna finish with a couple standing postures and then we'll just close out with a um, little breath and meditation. So let's take the left foot forward and the right foot back. And we're purposely going into this not in a flow to kind of share with our friends and also remember that we can take these poses up anywhere. Like you can be at the gym and like in between sets, you know, come and do a warrior to open up your hips and align with your spine. Take some pressure out of the lower back. So left toes are going to point forward. Right toes are going to point in. Perfect. And then as you're ready, just bring the hands to the waistline for a little stability. And then use, I know you got core, so use your core in all of these things to bring a little bit of centeredness and confidence into the learning process, right? If you're not in your core, you're not centered, you're gonna fall, but if you do, I'll catch you, it's all good. But it's just a nice reminder, like, oh yeah, I, I, I have what it takes, like, I know, I know what to do. So just remember your core, your center here, and then keep that in mind as you start to bend that front knee. And like bells and whistles might start to go off as we add layers on here. So just remember that's part of the process. And in a month's time after you're doing yoga with Adrian at home or whatever yoga, you'll be like, oh man, easy. So if you, your, your legs are looking awesome here. You're just going to lengthen the tailbone down just a bit. Mm -hmm, beautiful. And then let's send the fingertips out. Maybe you know this shape, warrior two. Yeah, beautiful. Now inhale. Use your exhale like we did in the beginning to relax the shoulders down. Even if they don't move, it's the intention. And inhale, nice long neck, even more. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down. And then strong and fierce, like I know you are, you're kind too, but fierce gaze out past the left fingertips here. So we're kind of stretching through the neck. Yeah, so send your gaze way out past your fingertips. And then think of the archetype here, the warrior. It's strong, it's focused. Yeah, and beautiful breath, really, really nice work. Great. Here we go, one more breath. Maybe bend a little bit deeper into that front leg. Just see, yes, gorgeous. Nice, and then from here, check it out. This one's gonna be great for your back. You're gonna straighten both legs and turn both to toes towards this side of your mat. Yeah, then we'll turn both toes in just a bit. Beautiful, hands on the waistline once again. Stand up nice and tall, lengthen tailbone down. Yeah, beautiful, feel that power in your legs as you lift up through your spine. So we're just gonna go to a flat back position here. This is gonna be really, really good for that lower back stuff we were talking about. So engage your legs, like lift up through your kneecaps to tone your quads. Inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale. Slow and steady, you're just gonna go as far as you can go, but we'll, I think we can go halfway here. Keep the power in the legs, pressing into the outer edge of this back foot. We call this standing wide-legged forward fold, but we're just going halfway today. Yeah, keep this engaged, beautiful. Oh, boom, there you go. That's that, that awareness. We call this dunda, which is um, Sanskrit for like a stick or a staff. Think of your spine like a stick. Beautiful, and then slowly release and come up. Yeah, nice, beautiful. We'll walk the feet together. 
and then we're going to turn to the front and just do the same little ditty on the other side. So this time, right foot forward. And there's a lot of pressure when people come to yoga from other, um, just other practices or just new in general, where they feel like they have to get in and out of poses in a certain graceful way, like the way they see people in flow. So you don't have to do that. It can be as simple as, I'm going to practice warrior two today. One leg in front, one leg in back, and you just work your way up from the ground. So right toes pointing forward. Go ahead and turn your left toes in just a hair more. And what that does is that translates to the shin, the knee, the femur, the hip, the whole nine yards. So that's really good. Okay, hands on the waistline. Take a deep breath in. Lift your chest, strong. Exhale, bend. Perfect. Front knee over front ankle, looking great. And already this awareness in the spine from the beginning of class is starting to translate and change really nice. Press into the knife edge of that back foot. Beautiful. And then don't forget your center. If you feel good here, let's send it out. So right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. And then just because I'm just going to go a little advanced here. It's like think way beyond your fingertips. Think about your energy. Like we're energetic beings. So it's like so much more than the physical body here. And that's why I like guide you to take your focus out past your right fingertips because it really helps us kind of embrace this idea that it's not just about this. It's about our energy. You know, we want to look good, but we look good when we feel good too. Great, take one more big inhale in here. Think wide breath again, and then use your exhale to relax your shoulders down. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, from here, inhale in. Exhale, let's bring the hands to the waistline. We'll turn the right toes in. And now we're set up for that wide-legged forward fold again. So, press into the knife edge of your feet. On this one, let's go ahead and try to lift from the arches a little bit. Just a feeling. It kind of runs from the inseam of your legs all the way up. Kind of like we do for like sumo squat. Yeah. And then go ahead and come up here for a second. You, you nailed it, but I'm just going to now challenge you a little bit to keep this together. Hug the lower ribs in. Yeah, beautiful lengthening of the tailbone. And then from your hip creases, think of it really coming from here. We're going to go forward together. Breathe. Press into the ball joint of your big toe firmly. Yeah, boom, that. Love it. And then neck nice and long again, the image of the teacup coming right on the back of the neck. Yes. And it may not seem like a lot's going on, but I know that, that a lot is going on. So hug that front body up to meet the back body here for one more cycle of breath. Yes, this is beautiful. All right, let's press into the feet to come back up. Really nice. So nice, like that. The the spine's starting to go. Go okay. Got it. Like that's so nice. So okay, from here, um, we'll just walk the feet together. Once again, turn to the top. Really nice. Okay, here we go. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, just hands to heart. This mountain. And just take a couple breaths here to cool off, metaphorically, physically. Just notice how you feel. Let the breath just really take the stage. And so a lot of people think meditation has to be the pretzel legs, certain type of music, certain amount of time, certain state. But this is a standing meditation here, palms together in prayer, shoulders relaxed. Go ahead and close your eyes and just soften your jaw. And just for one quiet minute, it'll go by really fast. I'm just gonna allow yourself to be present with your body. Thank you for allowing me to be present here with you today. And present with your breath. Here we go. Remember your breath is your spirit. So just taking one minute out of your day to connect to your spirit, listen to its song. And notice how it makes you feel to do that.
sweet. And then keep breathing here, my friend. And just send your awareness, if you can, to the soles of your feet. We're just going to do a quick body scan. Starting at the soles of the feet and slowly coming up through the ankles, the shins. And noticing sensation in the knees, the muscles of the calves and the thighs, the quads, through your inseam. Bringing your awareness up through the pelvis and the hips, the glutes, the lower back, the stomach, the belly, all four sides of the torso as we lift our chest up, heart a little bit more here, beautiful. And the arms, the forearms, the shoulders keep scanning, just bringing a little love and light and awareness up through that neck again, remembering we can take this off the mat today and into the rest of our day and our other practices and then all the way up through the crown one last time standing fully present in this moment whatever it feels like today mission accomplished that's where we'll end so let's bring the thumbs right up to the third eye here this is cool just a little reminder of like oh yeah listen to your intuition your inner teacher that third eye point point. and then here we go full body experiences you stand up nice and tall take a deep breath in and then we'll close by bowing our head to our hearts. And we can say, Namaste. 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 Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this Commune Masterclass, then I think you'll love this video right here. This is like a dream come true. You can tap into just this like sweet little inner smile. It can be literal, like lifting a little bit of the corners of the mouth or just a feeling inside of like.